Thank you, Massimo. Uh, and thank you for this short introduction to the Baltic countries. I thought, how, how uh, broad should I be in introducing Lithuania and Baltic countries in general? I just wanted to mention to you that uh, Lithuania is one of the Baltic countries which uh, declared their, their independence in, uh, uh, from Soviet Union in early 90s. And uh, with this uh, historical fact, the uh, factual possibilities for freedom of religion emerged and conditions for new religious movements to exist too. And uh, this paper is a um, contribution to discussion about new religious movements in Lithuania, about uh, the situation and uh, what happened during these 20 years, uh, this period of 20 years. And uh, I would uh, be, I'm, I'm very interested particularly in women in new religious movements. And uh, let me start now. Um, I'm starting with the uh, introduction of uh, three of my uh, informants. Francesca is around 60 years old. She received her PhD in social sciences in the beginning of 90s. She's married to professor and has son who is in his 20s. 15 years ago, Francesca started her spiritual journey and came up with Brahma Kumaris. Currently, she serves as one of the leaders of this group in Lithuania, left her academic activities and practices celibacy in her private life. Rachel is around 40 years old. She's an expert of public relations, used to work as a journalist, and currently owns private consulting agency. She lives with her partner, who owns private business, vegetarian restaurant. They both practice yoga and breathing technique introduced by Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. Rachel thinks that she lives her life every moment and does not want to change anything. Idea to create family and to have children is not attractive to her at all. Children, according to her, are the obstacles for spiritual self-development. Margit is 20 years old. She just left her parents' home and started studies in the university. After difficult teenage years, she found shelter among Sahaja Yoga followers in Vilnius. She is expecting the time when she will be ready to create her family according to the method of Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi. She believes this method is effective and she will have a happy family life. These three women of different age, education, and life experiences I have met in three new religious movements in Lithuania. What is common to all of them is that they are women and members of new religious movements. They are all white, middle-class Lithuanians, and they live in a post-communist society that may be considered to be a society of late modernity. I think Susan Palmer said that new religious movements are the laboratories of uh, social experimentation. What social experimentation these three women are going through, and how does it reflect the changes in the society of Lithuania? I will answer these questions in the following presentation, which is based on the empirical data from the fieldwork carried out in 2009-2012 in Art of Living Foundation, Brahma Kumaris, and Sahaja Yoga movements in Lithuania. All these groups are of Hindu origin and might be called a part of Hinduism missions to the West. Thus, it might be expected that traditional patriarchal, patriarchal meanings of gender roles are important in the teachings of these groups. But these teachings might be differently perceived and implemented according to the social context where they are introduced. Last decade, the issues of gender roles, traditional family values are very important for Lithuanian society. Public discussions are continuing. In such context, the research of alternative cultural milieu and its responses to the public issues becomes very important. What attracted uh, the attention of the research was that in these three religious movements of Brahma Kumari, Sahaja Yoga, and Art of Living, women were very important, but in diverse ways. Sri Mataji, a wife of diplomat who became a spiritual leader, established Sahaja Yoga. Brahma Kumaris is considered to be a religious movement for women, usually outstanding among other new religious movements concerning women leadership. Usually, during the fieldwork, Art of Living Foundation attracted attention with strong and emancipated women participating in its activities in Lithuania and elsewhere in the post-communist societies. 
The empirical research revealed that Sahaja Yoga group in Lithuania might be considered being mostly of religious origin among the discussed groups. Its religiousness ma manifested through the process of construction of charisma of Sri Mataji, the mission of Sri Mataji to protect the world from evil forces, the practices of Sahaja Yoga and the experience, etc. In general, Sahaja Yoga group in Lithuania might be considered to be Sri Mataji centered. The founder of the group is believed to be spiritually involved in the activities of the group even after her death. The attitudes of the group towards gender roles are influenced by the role and picture of Sri Mataji and her life. I was told the story of Sri Mataji where she firstly completed her life duties to be a good wife and to raise children and later to seek for spiritual self-development. My interlocutors called Sri Mataji Mami, referring to her status in the group and her own family at the same time. Majority of followers of Sri Mataji in Lithuania are young people, students who came to study to the universities from smallest towns. There are also exceptions, few women of elderly age. Sahaja Yoga group is seen by these students as their new family in the new place and the new conditions of life. Brahma Kumari's group presents itself as the university and all members of the group are students. This group is oriented to the spiritual self-development through practicing Raja Yoga. Although the group's teaching is aimed at spirituality, it distinguishes with women leadership. It is believed that organization was established with purpose to fulfill the divine will of highest spirit. Women are cons considered to be chosen by the highest spirit to be assistants for this duty. Why women? The answer is in the teaching of Brahma Baba, who at the same time stressed traditional roles of women as mothers and family supporters, but also he believed that only women have features needed for the dissemination of spiritual education and world transformation. Majority of students of Brahma Kumaris in Lithuania are women, with the exception of few men in their late 40s and 50s. Women are mainly middle-aged. Majority of them have reached their career and have grown up children. They had more individualistic attitudes and were more self-oriented than above discussed followers of Sahaja Yoga. But men followers of Brahma Kumaris movement in Lithuania emphasized that women are mothers and it is in their nature to care for others and for the movement too. Art of Living Foundation is the youngest new, new religious movement among the three. Sri Sri Ravi Shankar in his teaching focuses on the spiritual self-development that might be obtained through practice of breathing technique Sudarshan Kriya. In his teaching, Ravi Shankar stresses the spiritual side of human lives and did not teach about family relations directly, except of some examples given from his own family life with his parents and sister. Ravi Shankar is single and considers himself to be a child who has never grown up. Recently, family values and gender roles also become a topic of Ravi Shankar's teaching. In his messages to the followers, he emphasizes the power of woman to influence man by being soft and wise. Followers of Ravi Shankar in Lithuania are a very diverse group according to their age, gender, education, social status, etc. What is common for all Ravi Shankar followers is spiritual seekership. Informants told their stories of spiritual journeys through the teachings and practices of various gurus and organizations before they met Sri Sri Ravi Shankar and joined Art of Living Foundation. The participation in new religious movement provided women with alternative chances to seek for leadership, differently than in majority of traditional religious groups. But such chances do not directly lead to the conclusion that movement will be critical towards patriarchal norms in it and its various aspects. Findings of this empirical research do not allow stating that women were aiming at leadership, but what might be concluded that they were reflecting their roles in the family and everyday lives and searching for their own answers what they should be. Are, we, are men and women equal in these groups? It differs from group to group. What is common to all these groups is the emphasis on the spiritual self-development that might be attained through different ways. These groups might be called spirit-centered, where spirit and body are separated, have different functions. 
Sahaja Yoga emphasizes family life and women duties in it before they start their own spiritual journey. Out of Living Foundation and Brahma Kumaris, emphasize spiritual journey and do not regard family life as the advantage of life, but rather as the obstacle for spiritual seekership. Brahma Kumaris and Out of Living teaching might be considered as egalitarian in a sense that women are empowered to seek for leadership or another important status in the group. The research revealed that in Brahma Kumaris in Lithuania, femininity and feminine features were regarded as the source of power. Empirical research revealed that women who participated in Brahma Kumaris were considered not only feminine in traditional understanding, like being tolerant, empathic, sensitive. Our informants also stressed that these women also had masculine features. They were strong and brave. Women of Brahma Kumaris in Lithuania saw men who participated in the group's activities as more feminine than the ordinary men, soft and flexible. In their narratives, Brahma Kumaris members emphasize that gender does not matter. But at the same time, the spirit embodied in women limited, is limited by their gender. In other words, gender makes influence on spiritual life. Brahma Kumaris members were not satisfied with traditional family relations and gender roles, which they considered being as limiting their spirit too. Ideal member of Brahma Kumaris should be devoted for spiritual life and less involved into the secular life. Membership in this group can hardly reconcile with the roles of mother, wife, and their fulfillment in everyday life. More advantages or convenient members of Brahma Kumaris are those who are not married, do not have children, and are otherwise not committed women. Empirical research revealed that in Lithuanian Sahaja Yoga movement, the roles of men and women are clearly defined and distinguished. The positions of authority in major cases belong to men, despite the fact that, woman, that the mo movement was established by a woman. Women in Sahaja Yoga are seen as those who perform subsidiary functions. Their main duties are to stay at home to take care of children, husband, home to provide emotional support and refugee. Thus, drawing the line between women as acting in the private sphere and man who acts in public sphere allows speaking of Sahaja Yoga movement as supporting the patriarchal system. But informants did not consider these ideas as discriminating them. On the contrary, they considered it to be empowering them and giving other rewards. The research also revealed that teachings of Sahaja Yoga movement might be treated individually. Some informants told that their wives are working full-time job and they don't see any conflict between teachings of the movement and their private life choices. On the other side, the social context is also crucial for such choices. Average Lithuanian family would not afford welfare if only one family member earns for living. Usually people have to have more than one job. Women in Sahaja Yoga are taught to be silent, to avoid the power against men, in other words, to be clever and wise. Similar teachings that women should be wise and clever might be found within Sri Sri Ravi Shankar's recent teachings. But more individualistic approach from its followers leaves this idea to be treated individually. Physical separation between women and men is preserved during the rituals in Sahaja Yoga in Lithuania. Men and women choose different sides of the hall. Meanwhile, Brahma Kumaris and Art of Living Foundation do not preserve physical separation during the rituals in Lithuania as it is elsewhere, for instance, in the United States and United Kingdom. Another important aspect for discussion about gender issues in these three movements is the sexu sexuality and sexual life. It is the sphere of human life that is traditionally controlled by religion. New religious movements become a place of experimentation in the sphere of sexual and sexuality, sexual, uh, sexuality and sexual life too. Out of the three new religious movements that were reached during this research, Brahma Kumaris might be distinguished as having peculiar attitudes towards this sphere of life. Re empirical research revealed that Brahma Kumaris members in Lithuania, especially women, expressed very negative attitudes towards sexual life. They saw it as an obstacle to become pure and free from karma. And the only way to return to purity, according to them, was to keep the celibacy. The informants stressed their free will to choose celibacy. 
Individualistic approach that is found in the narratives revealed that informants expressed their freedom to choose faith and way of living. They uplifted spirituality into the first place and left family and husband in the second place. Narratives of Sahaja Yoga informants revealed another path of spir for spiritual seekership. Women emphasized abstention from premarital sexual relations, gave advantage for organized marriage that is followed by clearly defined roles of family and gender. Informants, both from Sahaja Yoga and Brahma Kumaris, expressed their concern about the changing attitudes towards sexual life in contemporary Lithuanian society, about the popular tendencies to have sexual life without commitment, about families created without marriage. While talking about such cases, Sahaja Yoga's followers referred to Sri Mataji's example of the ideal wife and mother. Empirical research revealed that these three new religious movements in Lithuania were spirit-centered and emphasized spiritual self-development. The spirit embodied in women was limited by this gender. Women in these new religious movements had different functions defined by their doctrine as students and leaders in Brahma Kumaris, as mothers and wives in Sahaja Yoga and Art of Living Foundation. As it was observed earlier, new religious movements usually support patriarchal attitudes, but the empirical research findings in Lithuania also revealed that the individualistic approach of women allowed them to interpret and apply uh, teachings to their lives in different ways. They reflected and discussed about changing roles and the threat of this change for traditional family values. Such individualistic approach of women in new religious movement reflects the broader context of the society they are active in, values and norms of contemporary Lithuania. 25 years ago, Lithuanian society had undergone dramatic social, economic, and political trans transitions that conditioned its liberation. This liberation process had brought in possibilities for the existence of new religious movements and discussions about freedom of religion, changing roles, gender roles, and threat for traditional family values too. Empirical research shows that analyzed new religious movements in Lithuania participate in the common discourse of the threat for traditional family values, which recently became very popular. This discourse started when Lithuania joined the European Union and its soft power was and continuously is used for the implementation of human rights. Recently, it might be observed how various religious communities participate in this discourse and the new religious movements that were discussed in this paper, too. Francesca, Rachel, and Margit are free women of different age, religious beliefs, and practices. They are touched by the social change of Lithuanian society and react to it in their own way. They say that spiritual self-development is their aim, but their gender do matter in this way, too. Thank you. <laughs>